Around the world, corrupt leaders often use torture and other serious human rights abuses to maintain their power. Amassing multi-million dollar fortunes for themselves and their families, such as Muammar Gaddafi, Yaya Jama, and Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos. While these dictators and warlords embezzle millions from their countries, they use violence to silence critics and intimidate the population, including through killings, torture, enforced disappearances and arbitrary detentions. Meanwhile, their fortunes are often spirited abroad using shell companies and other mechanisms designed to hide financial flows. As a result, victims of these human rights abuses rarely receive reparations and perpetrators amass excessive illicit wealth. Courts have awarded victims of Habre's reign of terror $300 million in compensation, yet these victims have never received any of this money. Courts have awarded more than $2 billion to victims of widespread human rights abuses under Marcos's dictatorship, but his estate has not yet satisfied it. This situation is unacceptable. Perpetrators must be held accountable and victims must receive reparations for their immense suffering. Redress has launched a new initiative to respond to the connection between grand corruption and human rights abuses. We've developed models to freeze or seize the corrupt assets of human rights abusers and use these assets to support victims. Tackling this challenge requires cooperation between NGOs, law enforcement and policymakers. Join the fight against financial impunity. Visit us at redress.org forward slash financial accountability.